what's happening everybody welcome back to some more aqua porn with me steve uh... really good mood today people really good mood and uh... don't really know why I well i know why there's a couple reasons i'm in a good mood uh... first of which is i have a subscriber who has such a great screen name it just makes me laugh and puts me in a good mood every time i hear it and that's slap nuts mcgee God, no, I love that screen name. Slapnuts! Slapnuts McGee! Slapnuts, Slapnut McGee! Uh, love the screen name, bro. It always puts a smile on my face. Uh, and just makes me giggle, because that's just such a, such a great screen name. Oh, your 40 gallon breeder, your new setup's pretty cool, too. But, uh, you know, I've been in the midst of this ick battle, but I am making some good positive moves with my marine build here and I'm going to show you a couple today. Uh, there's been some interest by others actually in my Arduino uh, controller. I haven't really been in a hurry to get that finished, just getting things done that I need. So today I'm going to paint this and get this spaghetti mess all taken care of and get the Arduino and the drivers in place. And I will do a separate video on that so I can put that in that playlist. But today it's all about this algae scrubber, man. Uh, I wasn't too hip on it at first. I had the vertical waterfall going. It was doing really good for me. This has been up and running now 14 days, but I'm only gonna call it seven. I'm only gonna call it seven days because the first seven days really I was battling with the airline tubing and with getting uh, good bubbles and flow across the whole screen. I redid it like three times before I finally said, screw the original idea I had and and then just put holes in it and I've showed you before but I'm getting some good uh, good airflow now across the whole screen and we're gonna pull that out today it's been about seven days with the new air holes the way they are we're gonna pull it out and take a peek so I pulled it out here in the Sun so we can get a good look at the color I'm hoping that that comes up on the screen if not I'll have to shoot again but you got to be happy with that, man. We got some nice green on both sides of the screen, and it's really starting to take off. A little bit of brown in there, but uh, to, today I'm just going to, I think the slits, you know, I poked holes here, but as you can see, there's all sorts of algae buildup on the airline tubing. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on that because with holes, they'll get plugged up really easy. But with, uh, the maintenance schedule I should be able to take care of it but look at that let's get some growth now I gotta be happy with that for seven days so we'll get that little scrape off I'm not gonna clean it down to bare just get a little little scrape of the big stuff and we'll get it back running okay so cleaning maintenance on the screen I'm gonna just take a brush and go across the airline tubing just to make sure that that algae doesn't plug up those holes on me and get it off the uh, off of all the airline tubing and get it off the silicone and I'm just going to take my nail or a card and just kind of lightly scrape I want to leave as much of it in place right now until I get start growing some nice long green hair algae on the back side it's actually nice and thick compared to the front hair I'm getting better growth on the back side of the screen than I am on the front side of the screen. So let's get this taken care of. Okay, like I said, just real light. Just made sure that I have my holes completely free and clear. And then I also took it off the silicone there. Also, the holes, the water outlet holes, made sure those were all nice and free. And uh, the water inlet holes, made sure all those are nice and free. And then just scraped a little bit off. I want to leave a lot of algae there. You know, just took some of the buildup. There was a little kind of, it was kind of slimy. Wasn't really kind of green hair algae yet. But that's because I'm seeing a huge nutrient spike in my tank. So I would expect it to be a little slimy right now. I'm actually surprised it's not black. Um, but let's get it back in. I'm real excited about it. We'll let it go 10 more days and I'll update you then. So back at the main tank here. 
Now as you can see the algae scrubber is doing a great job even though it's not pulling too much off yet I've already covered up the sump but the sump is completely green because I have the lights on in there 18 hours but uh, you can see that there's very little to zero algae here in my main display let's see if I can focus in on some just like some light patches of green now the light is probably gonna take that out but you know it's just like light shades of green that my cleanup crew is doing a great job just keeping it in check but uh, they, I'm all about algae scrubbers hopefully I can get it to the point where I don't need a skimmer but uh, currently running both right now plus Chato and that is uh, keeping the nutrients kind of in check now I had a big nitrite spike because I moved all this rock around of course now I'm getting the nitrate spike I'm going to start a series of water changes, probably 10 to 15 percent a day over the course of three or four days, just to get that back down and in check. Uh, I was going to just let it play out, you know, let the the nitrite bacteria build up again, but the I don't want the nitrates to build too high, and I'm I'm between 40 and 80 ppm right now, so I don't want the cleanup crew to be affected or anything. So I'm going to try and knock that down, get that down to about 10 to 20. And then uh, before I put the fish back in, in uh, about seven weeks, I'll knock that down between zero and ten, as low as I can get it. So, have a good one everybody. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later.